Hi, hello, it's me again, Marina. I'm 60 and I live in Sweden. So I thought I would share with you my empties. Uh, I think I haven't filmed an empties video in like a year or something. I used to do it, only did it a couple of times, but every third month, I think. But then I realized my stuff is so boring. <laughs> I use the same things over and over again and there's nothing new. I don't use a lot of skincare, so I don't I can't tell you about skincare products and stuff like that. Uh, so I've mostly been saving like my perfumes, empty perfume bottles, uh, makeup stuff, and some of my more, you know, like body butters and stuff like that. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this video again because I don't think you would see it. <laughs> so if you watch this, uh, that's fine. But I'm also fine with people not watching because it might be boring because I don't have a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of stuff here but not that much to see I think. So and I haven't saved everything. I haven't saved all my facial cream bottles because they are the same. My facial I just use this same over and over again because it's cheap and it works for me and I have no I never do face masks. I never do peeling i never do anything i just wash myself use this um so this is from garnier rose nourishing 48 hour moisturizer uh, and i've used these are two and i have used like 10 of these so this is for my face uh, i use the also garnier um micellar water after I washed, I wash my face with this, clean my face with this Cetaphil um, Gentle Skin Cleanser, has no perfume, no nothing. And after that I jump into the shower and after that I use my Garnier Micellar Water. I don't have an empty, I haven't saved them I guess. And then it's this and that's my whole skin care routine. So I have two of these here but I have used up a lot more. So that's that for my my um, to remove my makeup I've used this this is from the Swedish grocery store Ica and I have like three of these here and I also tried this one but I don't like this one I like this one better so this is also cheap stuff and it works perfectly fine for me it's this uh, Too Faced you know Too Faced what do you call it oily stuff it removes waterproof stuff as well so which I don't use but it's I still use this one so that's that for my eyes uh, my hair my hairspray that I always use is this one from matrix I think it's called high amplify performa hairspray it's a little bit more expensive than the ones you can just buy in the grocery store, but it's so good and I use very little, so this takes me a long time to use up this. But for this past year, I guess I've used like two or three of these. And I also use hair wax for my hair. The Defy Destruct. What's it say? Not a lot. Medium to hold medium hold molding cream with low shine yeah so this is what i use and then after that i take my hairspray and this lasts forever because i use a really teeny tiny amount and then i have for my nails nail polish remover from depend swedish brand uh, super quick remover it's called now I've been really lazy with my nails lately because they're so bad. So it's no fun to put polish on because they are really small nubs. <laughs> and I use for my as my uh, base for nail polish. I don't I don't know why I don't have the cap still, but it's also from Depend uh, base for the polish. Cheap. And I use this one as a top coat, Sechevite, I don't know how to pronounce it, but 
this one I like a lot because it dries the polish really quickly so you can use your hands quickly after polish put polished on polish <laughs> so this one I, I use up all the time as well and I also use repair nail oil from essence because my cuticles are terrible they break all the time but this one is good so I use it a couple of times at morning and night usually because I don't want to bring this to work uh, yeah and for my body I haven't saved everything because I basically just use shower gels like cheap ones from the grocery store but this one <clears throat> is from the body shop and it's uh, something they came out during Christmas not this year I think but the year before that and I also have the body butter and it smells amazing unfortunately in Sweden at least body shop filed for bankruptcy so they don't exist anymore you can't get hold of this anymore and I'm so sad now this was a limited edition scent so I don't think they would have came, come out with this anyhow but I also use their vanilla pumpkin that they also comes out with every uh, Halloween like autumn I have both of these this is the old one I love the scent of this it's so so don't know I'm so cool yeah oh, it's doesn't exist anymore and I also have their Satsuma which I love to use during summer I have one big jar still using carefully because I can't get hold of it anymore and this one I bought this Christmas I didn't like them this one as much it smells like cherry but no not my favorite this is my favorite of all times and you can see that this jar is really really old this is how they looked years ago and I've been so careful with using this one because I love this is the almond scent they stopped doing this scent a long time ago oh, yeah can't get hold of it anymore and so from rituals I have only one empty thing and this is the ritual of happy Buddha and I also have the face mist that I use together with this one. This is still existing. Love it. But this is not my favorite, but I love this one. Um, yeah. Oh, and this, of course. <laughs> I have love. These I've been using like my everyday. So I'm so bummed it doesn't exist anymore body shop and so my makeup stuff uh, <laughs> I've used up two of my lip masks I had two of these from Kaleidos that came out with some collection they had a couple of years ago been taking me forever to use them up I think this was nothing for my lips I just used it as a lip balm but they didn't do anything for my lips so I just used it up every time before I go to bed and um, another lippy that is empty is a really old one from Nova the packaging doesn't look like this and I love this color this is a matte liquid lipstick and it's completely dried out I don't think it's empty it's just dried out I can't use it anymore and it's old I don't want to either so this one is a goner unfortunately because the color is super nice and, and I also used the Mac prep and prime lippy thingy and I used it completely I carved it out there's a big hole in there and I have a new one, so I'm still using this one. No, not this one, but a new one. <laughs> and a lip pen from Isadora. There, it has no, it's just a hole in there. 
and I have another one. This color is discontinued. It's called Cranberry. And it's my absolute favorite, favorite color of a lip pen because it matches a lot of my lippies. So I use this one a lot. So when then the new one I have is gone, I can't get hold of this one anymore, unfortunately. Swedish brand. And this is also from Isadora. Uh, Kajal eye pens uh, that I use to tight line my lashes. I use this up all the time. I have two more in my drawer because this is the one I use for that. It's cheap and I use them up all the time. Um, yeah, and um, for my eyes, I used up my favorite. You have seen me use this one a million times and I cut it in half. Used every single bit of it and I have one more in my drawer that is half full and one more coming in my email on my I ordered a new one because I love this one Kiko Milano neutral eye base and I also use this one this has no logo on it but it's the X lash eye serum that you put on your on top of your lashes to make your lashes grow and be a bit longer and fuller and it actually works I have used up like two or three of these and I have one going. Uh, they're a bit expensive, but I use them when they're on sale and it lasts for more like more than six months. So it's good. Makes your lashes a bit longer. And I have some mascaras that I've used up. I always use this one, the Colossal from Maybelline. And I also bought the High Key from uh, Beauty Bay. It's okay, and this is High Impact Lift and Curl Mascara from Isadora. Not my favorite, will not buy again. This one I always buy when I can't find something else. But right now my favorite is the Banger Mascara from Makeup Mecca. So that's what I'm using, and I have two more new ones coming in. And my Deep Brow Pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Nothing in it. Use, this is the only brow product I ever use. And I've used up like 10 of these. Also, they last for a long time. And <laughs> I used up a found two foundations. The Milk one from Flex Foundation and I had mine in light. Completely empty didn't like this one won't buy it again I don't even know if it exists and I've used the mattifying infallible foundation and I have mine, mine in number 10 porcelain and I cut it in half from L'Oreal um, yeah and I also used up uh, the ordinary high adherence silicone primer I always cut my stuff in half so that I can there's always a lot in here when you can't squeeze anything out anymore cut them in half and there's a lot still in there the, yeah I have used up like two of these I think two or three uh, I have a couple of bronzers they have used up from um, Physicians formula the Murumuru butter bronzer and this was in the color light bronzer and I have actually bought a new one But I bought a color called only bronzer and I like that one better actually Yeah, completely empty And I had a little sample of the chocolate soleil from Too Faced nothing in it uh, And I also had this one from Yves Rocher it broke and I don't like the color so I just Consider it done. Uh, I don't like it. It's too orangey for me and too dark. And I also had the Nude Magic Magic BB Powder from L'Oreal. And this one is also too dark for me. I think I got it as a gift or something. It's a powder foundation. And I've used it during summer times when I have a little bit of tan and it feels better with a powder foundation when you're warm and sweaty than a 
ordinary one but and it's there's still a little bit in it but it's it's too dark and I'm had it for ages so I'm considering it done I have a really really old blush from NYX called mosaic powder purpley plummy one uh, I don't know if it's old or whatever but the colors doesn't show up on me and it's starting to break up and I am mm, done with this one and I finished up a jar of powder vanilla uh, loose setting powder vanilla from Anastasia Beverly Hills one of my favorite powders and the jar is humongous it's like 25 grams in here that's a lot it's a bit more expensive but you get a big amount and it lasts for a long time so I have a new one a new I used that one it's maybe I'm halfway through to that one as well so yeah and I also have from the body shop hand cream <laughs> in is the almond one I like it but it's not my favorite and yeah you can't get hold of this one anymore so I'm down to my perfumes and then we're done no I also have a setting spray this is a Swedish store kicks and their own brand and they've rebranded the their packaging so this one doesn't look like this anymore but it's the perfect finish face mist from kicks and I've been using up like three bottles of this but you can't get hold of this one either so oh <laughs> another one from Catrice <laughs> uh, prime and fine multi-talent fixing spray I like this one because it smells really really good and it feels good on your face but I don't know if it it does the work but yeah it smells really fresh so I have a couple of perfume bottles because I've been trying to pan some of my perfumes. You can see them there. I have a lot and I have a lot of old stuff. So I, I basically divided them in on the top shelf. I have the ones that I still like and that are a little bit newer, um, but I, I'm not in a hurry to end them. And on the bottom shelf, I have the ones that are that I don't like and want to use up or that they are so old I need to use them because before they go bad so this is uh, Naomi Campbell it's a powdery I love the scent but yeah it's okay it's done I don't know if I will buy it again maybe if it's on sale somewhere but there's so much other stuff that I really want more so yeah um, and this is what's this one called uh, nude by Rihanna this is also a powdery I like powdery scents yeah don't know where I should get that this one either but hey ho I have the other one as well the black the other one is black here and I also have the Lady Gaga and this one you can see I have I don't like it so I will, won't use this one up and I think it's going bad so no and I also have the what's what brand is this I don't know but it's called agent provocateur is that the brand and fatal is the used it up and some really old ones from also from Yves Rocher, same as the broken uh, bronzer. And this sound smells really fresh and summery. It's called Flower Party. A bit cheaper scents. I don't think they exist anymore. And from the same brand also So Elixir Purple. And this one I have another one because I've got them as you know gift with purchase so I didn't buy them myself it's okay but not my favorite and I also used up <coughs> from rituals this one is called Oasis de Fleurs or the perfume from rituals not my favorite they I have two or three others that I like better it's okay but not my favorite yeah, that was my empties.
I hope I didn't bore you to death. I don't think I will do this anymore. But if you want me to, please let me know. I can do it, of course. But yeah, not the, the best videos to watch, I think. But you be the judge of that. So if you manage to watch to the end, thank you for that. And until I see you the next time, bye bye.